Hey folks, I, if you are one of those insurance agents out there who is saying that AI isn't there yet for helping you market your insurance business, it's probably because you need to step up your prompting game. And that's what I want to talk with you about in the next few moments on this video is how to write effective prompts to help AI do what you need it to do so you can more effectively reach customers. Working today using uh, Google's Gemini software, but this should, will work with any software you want to use. And right now, I want to show you kind of a few examples of what you might do and how you can improve your prompts. So if you're one of those folks who's saying AI just isn't there yet, you might be writing prompts that sound like this. Write a health insurance blog. And you're getting a little bit of information here about what health insurance is and so on and so forth, but it's not really giving you uh, what you need to make this work for you. It's not giving you enough juice. It's not giving you enough oomph uh, behind your content. So what we want to do today is work on refining those prompts to help it make it a little bit more effective for you. And to do that, we're going to use a four-step framework to write more effective prompts called RAFT, or Role, Audience, Format, and Topic. So we're going to specify the role that we want our AI writer to take. We're going to give it an audience that we are going to be writing to. We're going to give it specify a format that we want it to write in. And we're going to give it a topic to write about. And when we can be that specific, the AI is going to produce things that are more likely to be useful for us. So let's take a look at this first example. So in this example, we're asking AI to take the role of a health insurance agent. And we are asking it to educate consumers by writing a blog about how accident policies can offset deductibles and out-of-pocket maximums. And by doing so, we're going to get a little bit more uh, targeted text that can help that we might use on our website and put in front of consumers. It's going to help us, uh, you know, educate consumers about accident insurance, how it could work, you know, some of the benefits that we can provide here, and it also includes a call to action for talking to you, the health insurance agent. So simply by adding those additional layers of specificity, we're a little bit closer to what we wanted. Now, we can always ask the AI to refine its work too. Maybe we don't love the, the tone it took. Maybe we want a more serious tone or a more playful tone. So I could say use a more confident tone. And get it a little bit closer to something that sounds like me or how I'd like it to write. So the introduction, for example, changes from accident insurance is a valuable tool to accidents happen. It's a simple fact of life, right? It's a taking a more confident approach to educating consumers about that, and that might be more your speed. But we can use it for other examples here as well. It's not just limited to creating blog content for you. You could, for example, ask it to do this. So in this example, we're again asking the AI to take on the role of a health insurance agent. We're asking it to write this time to our current clients, the format we've chosen is a three message email campaign. So not just one piece, but we're asking to create three pieces here. And the topic is, you know, checking their benefits during an open, open enrollment period, making sure that we can find the, uh, they're in the plan that best fits their needs. So if we ask it to do that, it's gonna give us uh, our email complete with subject line, complete with a uh, greeting, complete with, you know, your, the call to action and including your information here. And it's giving, going to give you those sequences. And you can take it a step further here. Maybe in your marketing software, it also asks you to create an email preview line. So add previews to each of these messages. Okay, and so now we have the preview text that's been generated here. We could also ask it again to shift tone if we like, so take a more confident tone. And get a little bit closer to whatever it is you might want it to sound like. You can also say, this copy is too long. And it will do its best to shorten it, right? To very much so to uh, uh, just a few sentences here. And it gives you those three, that, three of those. Now, maybe you also want help timing that campaign um, and getting some example there. So 
if we told that open enrollment begins on November 1st and ends on January 15th, suggest times for sending these messages. It can also help us you know, develop a schedule for when we might want to send these out here as well. And in the third example, we can also ask it to help us think a little bit more strategically, right? It doesn't have to be uh, just one task focused. We can also help it uh, ask us to help us think about what we might do throughout the year to help market our agency. So in this third example, we're asking the AI to do a little more heavy lifting for us. So we're again asking it to be a health insurance agent, but this time we're asking it for ideas to market our agency to cannabis dispensaries, one of the fastest growing industries in our area. And we want to give us some examples of the top of the marketing funnel, some examples of content we can use in the middle of that marketing funnel, and some top examples of topics we can use at the bottom of that marketing funnel. So it tells us a bit about what we might do at the top of that, right? We can get some ideas for what we do at the top. So create informative blogs on navigating the complex world of cannabis business insurance. We can get some industry news and insights if that is something you're in tune with. Or you can provide some webinars and workshops, right, targeted toward folks in those particular industries and maybe get them in, in, involved and interested in hearing about insurance through you. Gives you some ideas for what you might post on social media um, and gives you some ideas for throughout the funnel that you might take a look at here. Now, uh, before you go off to the races with these and with these tips, there's a few things I want to make sure you remember and uh, before you go forward here. The first one is always be specific. The more specific you can be in your AI prompting, the more likely it is you're going to get something closer to what you want. The second one is we asked the AI today to work on kind of its own whims, so to speak, but you can ask it to read example text. So an example of a blog or an example of an email you've already written, and you can ask it to do its best to match the tone or the style of that text which is a great help um, in making it sound a bit more like you. The third thing is, as you saw a few times here today, if the, the first product from the AI was not exactly what we wanted, we can always ask it to iterate and refine on its work and, and ask more questions or prompt it to get a little bit closer to what it is we want to provide. And the last thing we should stress here is AI will always need, at least for the foreseeable future, it will always need human oversight. So make sure you are validating its work. It, it sounds right. Um, it will never do all of the work for you here, at least in its current state, but it's going to give you some ideas that get you pretty close or in the ballpark of where you want to be in creating content and talking to your consumers. So uh, that's today's session. We talked a little bit about AI prompting. Love to hear more about what would help your business in the world of AI or other technology tools. Thanks for watching.